Good morning everyone, welcome to Grace for Today. Can you believe we are on day 98 out of 100 days of favour? We are nearly there. It's been a fantastic journey over the last few months. We really pray that you've enjoyed it. I just want to remind you that tonight at 7.30 we have our exchange live live. Penny and I will be live on YouTube at half seven tonight so make sure you tune in. And of course if you haven't already subscribed, liked, shared on Facebook and YouTube, this is your time to do it. So let's get into day 98. We're going to talk today about resting in Jesus's finished work. It says in Ephesians 2, 4 to 7, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespass, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace, the unmerited favour of God and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. So when you look at that passage, it tells us that by God's unmerited favour, we are seated together with Christ at the Father's right hand. Now, what does that actually mean to be seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus? I mean, in real life, what does that actually mean? Well, it means that today, right now, as you're listening, you're in a position of rest in Jesus's finished work. To be seated in Christ is to rest, to trust in him and to receive everything that our wonderful Saviour has accomplished on our behalf. God wants us to take the position of relying on Jesus for every success in every area of our lives instead of relying on just our good works and human effort to achieve success. It's an incredible blessing, isn't it, to be in this position today of complete dependence on Jesus, on our Saviour. So instead of looking at Jesus, what happens is many times as believers we're misled by the enemy into looking at not him and his work but looking at ourselves. Actually for thousands of years it's been the devil's strategy and he hasn't changed it. He's not uh, a master of anything other really than accusing us, okay, pointing out all of our flaws, all of our weaknesses, our mistakes, all of our blemishes. You know what the devil will do, he'll keep reminding you of your past failures and use condemnation to perpetuate this cycle of defeat in your life. When the Apostle Paul found himself sinking into like self-obsession, self-occupation, he became actually depressed and he cried out, Oh wretched man that I am, it says in Romans 7 uh, verse 24, who will deliver me? And then in the very next verse, he sees God's solution and he says, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, likewise for you and me, it's time to step out from being self-conscious, self-absorbed, looking at navel gazing, being self-occupied and really begin to be Christ occupied instead. So today, don't any longer ask yourself, am I accepted to, acceptable to God? I mean, am I I'm acceptable before him? Am I righteous? This question puts the focus back onto you and places you back under the law. Now, I know that there are people who will encourage you to ask yourself this question, but I think it's an error in fact, and under grace it's, a, it's an error to, to ask the question continually, am I accepted before God? Because the correct answer is, you know, is Jesus accepted before God? Because as Jesus is, so are you, it says in 1 John 4, 17, in this world. So don't ask, am I pleasing to God? But instead ask, is Christ pleasing to God? Do you see the difference in the emphasis there? Because the old covenant of law is all about you and what you're doing, but the new covenant of God's grace is all about Jesus. So the law is going to place demands on you to perform. It's going to make you self-conscious, whereas grace places the demand on Jesus and makes you Jesus conscious. Can you imagine like a wee child growing up and always wondering on the inside, am I, am I pleasing to daddy? Am I pleasing to mummy? Do mummy and daddy like me? Do they accept me? You know, that child would probably grow up pretty emotionally warped if he doesn't have that security or she doesn't have that security and assurance of his parents' love and acceptance. That's why your loving Heavenly Father wants you rooted, established, anchored in his unwavering love for you. 
He demonstrated his love for you when he sent Jesus to become your sin on the cross so that you can become his righteousness. Our part today, just turn away from ourselves and look to Jesus and what he's done. And let's do that by taking communion. Father, thank you for your body broken. Thank you that because of your work on the cross, I am whole, healed and delivered today. And Father, we thank you for your blood poured out for the cup, Lord. We say thank you, Jesus, that your blood has made me perfect in the past, today and forever into the future. Amen. So get your eyes off yourself today. Get your eyes onto the Lord and everything that he's done for you and let life flow from the inside out. Remember tonight, 7.30, folks, YouTube Live. It'll be great to see you and I will see you tomorrow for more grace for today.